Welcome back to the next video here at Piano Music and Repair. Today's video, um, I'm going to be showing y'all how you can uh, get the excess string off of a tuning pin. When you are uh, restringing a piano, sometimes you'll be taking strings off and they're still like, a you'll be loosening. Sometimes as you're loosening, the string will break or the string is like the string, you're placing a string on a piano and the string like already is broken and you've got that string around that tuning pin. Um, today I'm just going to be showing you how you can, um, get the string out of that tuning pin because I know it can be a little difficult to do it. Um, one thing you want to do is you want to put some gloves on when you're working with music wire, of course, always. Not only, um, if we're taking a string off the pin, not really to protect the wire, but to, more to protect your fingers because I've gotten poked by strings and I've got cut open by strings before working with them. Um... This piano that I'm restringing, I've got cut open on them strings too. Um, it's always good to wear a certain kind of gloves. These ain't the thickest gloves in the world, but they'll work. So, um, this is a tuning pin right here that I've already done. And, uh, and here's the wire that came off of that tuning pin. It is a size 13 wire. Um, and I want to be kind of careful doing this because you don't want to... Tear, one, you don't want to tear up the threads. If you're taking you, um, if you're taking the pin out, some people prefer to take the pin out. I can do it with the pin still in the piano, but I'm re fully restringing and re rebuilding this piano. So, um, this is part of the, the spinet piano restoration series. So, this goes on the spinet piano, and you want to be careful not to uh, damage the threads or the the pin itself where you put the tuning hammer to tune. You don't want to damage this either. Um, so. You want to kind of keep the whole pin. You don't want to bend it or or uh, bend it or anything. So there's only one tool that we need to do this, and it's kind of the whole video is kind of common sense, but um, yeah, a lot of people can work at it until we do it. But um, this is kind of just how you do it, because I have like sometimes I when I was learning I had some questions and they were just I was like, is this common sense? Do I do it how I think I do it or what? Well, I'm just here to help y'all. Some of these videos might are will be common sense questions, but at least your answer is confirmed. So that's what I really do these videos for. All you really need is some needle nose pliers and your pen with a string. This pen is already completely finished. So and back to the box it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a pen that the string is still laying on. So here we have a pen. Now sometimes you can do it with your fingers like this. Like that. And then the pen will just fall right off my hand. But sometimes you can do that. You can just take the pin, if you have some good gloves on, you can take the pin and just loop it around until it pops out of the hole. So, there's a little hole right here. Uh, if y'all can see it right there, there's a little hole. Yeah. There's a little hole right there, and that pin, that string goes in that hole. So, now let's get a pin that has a string. So, this one's wrapped three times. So, this one we ain't going to be able to get by hand, even with the gloves. So, when you can't get a string by hand, you'll have to use some pliers to straighten it out to get it. So, what I do is I recommend grabbing the pin uh, by the thread at the bottom. Okay, and I'll take my needle on those pliers. And I'm not really going to pull, but what I'm really trying to accomplish is straightening out the wire. So, I can pull the wire and I can straighten it. And sometimes I'll have to kind of, multi, kind of get it. It's hard to, sometimes I'll have to just straighten a little bit of a time and reposition myself and then just keep going. Um, and I have 200 of these to do um, because these, these pins are pretty good. I'm not replacing the pins. And sometimes what you can do if you have a good enough grip is you can put your pliers on that excess string here and just turn the pin like that and then just kind of pull it and wrap it with it and hold it make sure you're holding a firm grip on these pliers too because you can bust yourself in the face if you don't have a good grip and this music wire is tough so you want to be pretty careful working with it and there it just pops off like that so 
Again, just make sure you haven't damaged your tuning pin if you're trying to keep these pins. Um, if you're going to throw the pins away, just throw them away and don't even worry about taking the excess off. But Music Wire is not like a guitar string. It's really, really thick. It's it's about it's as thick as a wire coat hanger, if not thicker and it's more stiff. Um, it's it's really simple to do. Um, I just kind of want y'all, and a lot of times when I put them in a bucket, they'll do this, and I hate it when they do that. Um, but like I said, again, just to watch again, make sure you're holding the pliers by the thread, and then, and this one's looped, and when they loop, you have to work with them quite a bit. See, I about busted myself, but I got the string off, so kind of got to work a little bit more with them types of pins that the strings are looped. Like, this one's also looped on, too. The cool's kind of halfway came out. Straighten that wire up, I guess. Just like that. Now I'll grip it over here. And pop, well, that just popped right out. And some of them, it'll look like they're in there a lot. And when you do try to pull them out, they come out with these. Because it's so hard to see everything. Um, but like this right here, you want to try to keep them. One thing, one, one thing you have to be careful of. If you're around the threads, try to use your hands as much as you can. Sometimes you have no other option but to use the pliers, but if you're able to, I recommend use your hands. This one's not going to let me use my hands, so I'm going to have to use the pliers. Try not to get to them threads and mess them up. Because that's the last thing that you want to do. Just get it away from them threads first off. Just like that. Now it's starting to straighten itself out. Take the pin, hold it. And they're tough to work with too, trust me. Sometimes you can get them in the loop and pull them up. Pull the loop up. Just like that. Again, our goal is to not tear up the pin at all. That is our goal. Yeah, guitar string's been like no problem, but this stuff right here is nothing to joke around with. Again, and now it should pop right off. Should. Anyways. And that's how you do it. That's how you remove this old leftover wire from the tuning pin. And the same method applies when the, when the piano, when the pin is in the piano, you really don't have to hold it. When the pin's in the piano, you really just take the pliers and go around it. So, um... But yeah, that's how you do it, really. It's it's you know, you, you it's really mostly common sense, but that's how you do it. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer. And uh I'll see y'all in the next video.